ever wondered why a platform as massive as Pinterest decided to move from HTTP2 to HTTP3? In today's video, we will discuss the challenges of HTTP2, advantages using HTTP3, and how Pinterest benefited migrating to HTTP3. In a recent announcement, Pinterest revealed its migration from HTTP2 to HTTP3. This marked a significant improvement in its networking infrastructure. The aim was to enhance the user experience and improve critical business metrics by leveraging the capabilities of modern HTTP3 protocol. Did Pinterest succeed? To know more, keep watching the video till the end. Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bytes. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product-based organization. HTTP is the foundation of data communication on World Wide Web and HTTP 3 is the third major version of HTTP. If you are not yet familiar with the HTTP, check out our playlist linked in the description box for a quick crash course. HTTP 3 is a modern HTTP protocol with several advantages over HTTP 2. Some of them are, first, there is no TCP head of line blocking in HTTP 3. Second, easy connection migration across IP addresses. Third, ability to tune lost detection and condition control network parameters. Fourth, reduced connection setup time with zero RTT. And fifth, it is more efficient for huge payload use cases, such as image downloading, video streaming, etc. Let's deep dive into each of these advantages, understand what they mean and how they are helping Pinterest. No TCP head of line blocking problem. In HTTP 2 and earlier versions, a problem called head of line blocking can occur. Head of line blocking is a performance degradation phenomena where one HTTP request blocks other requests from processing. For example, let's consider a scenario where a web page consists of several resources, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and images. If a JavaScript is larger in size, it will block the image requested subsequently until the JavaScript arrives. This can impact the overall web page loading time. To overcome this, HTTP2 introduced HTTP streams. HTTP streams is an abstraction that allows multiplexing different HTTP exchanges onto the same TCP connection. Streams don't need to be sent in order and are independent of other streams. This eliminates head of line blocking at the application layer. But head of line blocking still exists at the TCP transport layer in HTTP2. HTTP3 uses a quick instead of TCP as a transport protocol thereby removing the TCP head of line blocking in the transport layer. Quick is specifically designed to optimize the internet usage on mobile devices. Connection migration across IP addresses. With its connection ID concept, Quick allows seamless connection migration between the networks. This means that if the client's IP address change, the connection is not disrupted. This is especially beneficial for mobile use cases, ensuring seamless transition as the client's network change. For example, consider a user who is using a mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet, to access Pinterest that relies on HTTP3 for communication. The user decides to leave home and starts using cellular data while on the move. This transition involves a switch from the home Wi-Fi network to the cellular network, resulting in the device acquiring a new IP address associated with the cellular network. HTTP3's ability to migrate connections across IP addresses ensures a seamless transition during the switch between the networks. Tune lost detection and congestion control. HTTP3 enables change and tuning of lost detection and congestion control mechanisms. These parameters can be customized based on specific use cases and network conditions. Fine tuning these parameters helps improve performance and reliability. In networking, Lost detection refers to the ability of a communication protocol to identify when a data packets are lost or not successfully delivered to the intended recipient. For example, consider a scenario where a mobile device experiences intermittent connectivity. In this case, the lost detection mechanism in HTTP3 can be tuned to be more tolerant of brief connection drops, minimizing unnecessary retransmission and optimizing data transfer. Condition control is the fundamental aspect of networking protocols to ensure that data is transmitted efficiently without causing network congestion. Condition control algorithms determine how a center adjusts its rate of data transmission based on network conditions. HTTP3 enables change or tuning of these condition control mechanisms. 
For example, imagine a network that encounters occasional congestion during a peak usage hours. HTTP3 allows fine tuning of condition control algorithms, enabling the protocol to intelligently adjust the rate of data transmission based on network conditions. This adaptability ensures optimal performance even in varying condition scenarios. Reduced connection time, zero RTT. The three way handshake is a process used by TCP to establish a reliable connection oriented communication channel between a client and a server. Since HTTP2 uses a TCP as the underlying transport protocol, HTTP2 also relies on three way handshake process. It involves first step synchronize. The client initiates the connection by sending a TCP segment with the synchronized flag set to the server. This indicates the client's intention to establish a connection and also includes an initial sequence number. Second step, synchronize acknowledge. Upon receiving the synchronized segment, the server responds with a TCP segment that has both the synchronize and acknowledge flags set. The acknowledgement number is set to one more than the received client sequence number. And the server also chooses its initial sequence number. Third step, acknowledge. Finally, the client sends a TCP segment with the acknowledge flag set. The acknowledgement number is set to one more than the received server sequence number. This completes the three-way handshake and both the parties are now aware that the connection is established. Round trip time or RTT includes the message propagation time to and from the server. In the context of networking and web performance, RTT is a critical metric because it affects the responsiveness of applications. Lower RTT values indicate quicker communication and lower latency. Zero RTT is a notable feature of a quick protocol used in HTTP3. With zero RTT, a client can send data to the server in the very first message of the connection without waiting for the round trip time. There is no three-way handshake process involved in HTTP3. Zero RTT is achieved by using previously established session information or by resuming a previous session. The use of zero RTT in HTTP3 significantly reduces the time needed for the initial connection setup. The client can start sending data right away, leading to lower latency, faster loading times for web pages and resources. More efficient for large payload use cases. HTTP3 is more efficient in use cases involving large payloads, such as image downloading, video streaming, etc. The protocol's design is well suited to handle substantial amounts of data transmission, contributing to improved performance in media rich content environments like Pinterest. HTTP3 has refined flow control mechanisms that allow for better handling of large payloads. Flow control is essential for preventing overwhelming a receiver with too much data at once. Multiplexing, zero RTT, easy connection migrations, along with improved flow control makes HTTP3 efficient for large payloads. Analysis at Pinterest indicates that HTTP3 has improved the round trip latency and reliability. Improved latency throughput are critical to large media features such as video images, etc. A faster and more reliable network is also able to move user engagement metrics. The chart here shows the network request round triple latency in millisecond before and after the HTTP3 for data collected over a week for varying payload. We can see it's almost a 44% latency improvement after migrating to HTTP3. In today's video, we discussed Pintrip's adoption of HTTP3 and how it enhanced its overall networking performance. The benefits ranging from reduced latency to improved handling of large payloads contributed to a more seamless and efficient user experience on the Pinterest platform. With more than 25% of the web already on HTTP3, Pinterest stands at the forefront of innovation. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such performance optimization case studies. Also, do check out our other videos on technology and career development. My name is Rupa and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.